started like a cooking playlist a while ago and I made chocolate chip cookies. These cookies, baby. And meringues. Well, today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I will be making crepes, okay? Or crepes, as they're actually, I don't want to offend anybody. Crepes are like thin pancakes. They use the exact same ingredients, except with American pancakes, they use buttermilk. So with this recipe, there's no buttermilk. It's just flour, milk, eggs, a little bit of butter, and some salt, and sugar. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is because it's breakfast time, how I am right now, well it's brunch, I'll say that. Um, so I felt like making crepes, I haven't done this recipe before on this channel so I thought it would be something new. Um, there may be some changing of camera angles a couple of times here, um, so that might be a little bit annoying. Um, but the recipe we're using today is a Martha Stewart recipe. And also my recipe is halved because the original recipe makes nine, but I usually use such a small amount of pancake batter that I usually make over the actual amount of serving. So we're gonna be halving the recipe. So if you wanna make the original nine serving recipe, then you'll just double the amount of ingredients I use. So uh, we're gonna start, and this is inspired by Rosanna Pancino. Check out her channel, I put a link down below. She's an amazing YouTuber and does amazing cooking videos. So let's start. Okay, so the things you will need are all-purpose flour. You're gonna be using a half cup if you're doing half of the recipe. Um, you will need an eighth of a teaspoon of salt um, since you're halving it. Two large eggs. Um, the original recipe calls for four. A half a tablespoon of sugar. Um, three quarter cups of milk. Um, I'm using fat-free skim milk. You can use any kind you want. Um, and the sugar I'm using um, is Domino uh, pure cane sugar. Uh, oh, you need one and a half tablespoons of butter. Okay, so we're going to be blending all of this together. So blend together all of your ingredients. So a half cup of flour. Um, you can sieve it if you like, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so you get a half cup of flour, make sure it's leveled, and put that in the blender. Then you're going to get your salt. I don't really know what an eighth of a tablespoon looks like or eighth of a teaspoon, so we're just gonna go like that. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it won't be too much. So half of a tablespoon is one and a half teaspoons. So sugar, one teaspoon, boop, half teaspoon. Got that. Okay, so three quarter cups of milk. What I got was, I got a quarter cup and I'm just gonna do three of these cause that makes sense. So, one, two, three. I've done this recipe before so I know how good it is and I kind of know the measurements. Uh, what do I add in next? Oh, two eggs. Almost forgot about the eggs. Usually the most important ingredient. Make sure your eggs look good. Crack. Put them in there. Get rid of the shells. So we have that, and now we're gonna add our butter. It says one and a half tablespoons. I think I'm just gonna do one tablespoon and just like a little bit more. Uh, so most packets of butter that are like this actually have the measurements on them, so that usually helps. So I'm just gonna like kind of eyeball it as to what one and a half tablespoons would be. Put that in there. So that's all of your ingredients and now you're gonna blend this together. So get your lid, preferably it's not broken, but you know, not everything. Ew, this is sticky. Never mind, I have to clean this.
Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, um, and now we're going to start the cooking process. So what you do is you get a skillet of some kind, put it on medium heat. So the way my heat is, is high is about 10, so I'm going to put it on 5. Wait for that to heat up, and Martha Stewart usually recommends butter, but instead of butter, I'm going to be using non-stick cooking spray because I rely on it more. Plus, I don't want to waste a bunch of butter, so... Woo! Okay, so that's gonna heat up, and then we'll make our pancakes. Um, what you're gonna do uh, while you're making them is you're gonna put the oven on warm, uh, get a plate for the grate. Uh, a small plate is fine, since they're not going to be that big. Um, set it up right here, and each time you make a pancake, you'll put it on there, and you'll put this plate... Ooh, that's not good lighting. I'm right in front of a window. Um, you'll put this plate in the oven with each pancake, um, and then you'll see what happens. So I'm going to wait for this to heat up, and then I'm going to do a fast shot of me making the pancakes. Okay. Know what I gotta say this is what I gotta say because you ain't shit you ain't ever been shit and you never gonna be shit y'all like her for no fucking reason she don't even like you oh bitch on TV <laughs> Seriously, though, what the fuck you mean? See, it don't matter what you say, I'm still swimming in green. Did a television show without a whole team. Fuck a plastic crown, bitch, I'm still the queen. Queen with the cake, cause I don't give a fuck that these geese quacking like a motherfucking duck. Fake ass bitches gonna pick a fucking goose, still made an impact while chucking up a duke. Need to keep it real, though, what's really good? If I'm immature just cause I come from the hood? If this melanin means that I'm really a villain, then bullseye, bitch, cause I'ma keep killing. What bitch you know revived the career? This bitch ain't model for more than a year. Getting out of bed for less than 10 keeps tablets. Sleeping on that and never happen again, cause I'm a nightmare. I'm a motherfucking savage. My frustration made you establish No need to breathe, I'm already booked My talent is a thing that was never Fires feed you there. Banji cut work Brooklyn streets. I created the bridge from the hood to the freaks. Mouth the razor, my tongue straight art though. Make up terrible like my name was Harlow. Subject of my change, should I even touch it? The only thing that changed was my spending budget. Stuck on Facetune like you ain't edited.
Okay, so these are the finished product. So we're gonna try them, and the best way to try them is with Nutella, in my opinion. You can try them with whatever you want. Sugar, lemon juice, whatever your preference is. So you take a pancake, flip it on whatever side you want. I usually do the softer side or the harder side for the center. Get your toppings of eight kind, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so you got your pancake. You take some Nutella. Get a knife, get a good size, and spread it like this. Oh, that looks so good. I'm so hungry right now. I didn't know I would become Shane, but like I always wanted to. Okay. Next step, you're going to roll your pancake, kind of like a burrito, roll it, get your fork, and cut it up into pieces, but I just like to go like this. Mm. Oh, oh, Jesus. It's really good. This is like my favorite thing I've made so far. And I've made biscuits and I'm in love with biscuits. I made biscuits again and they were better time. Second time's always the charm this. Mm. I think the thing that makes it better is the butter. I think that genuinely improves it. Cause it cooks better in the frying pan and the sugar like it's not as dry I think that's also a good contributor and I think I put the right amount of ingredients in them Bon Appetit baby If I had someone to share these with that'd be nice I don't I don't care Thank you guys for watching like subscribe give it a thumbs up and all that jazz comment what videos i should make next follow the social media links in the description below and hit the notification bell for a new video every saturday slash sunday now i'm gonna eat the rest of these pancakes you can't stop me i'm, I'm an independent person Bye!